I noticed while testing various types of flash powders in my last video, link in the description, that the zinc sulfur mix gave off a nice greenish yellow flash. It wasn't very potent, however, only being about as loud as the black powder salutes. I was testing these in M80 style tubes. This got me to thinking, if it's more of a low energy flash, maybe it could be used as a burst charge. Now, I don't know what all zinc sulfur reacts with as far as other chemicals are concerned, so if you try something like this, be sure to check zinc and sulfur mix for reactions with other chemicals if you start adding stars. Here I'm going to be testing it with some tiger tail stars, a little bit of added aluminum. I'm pretty sure zinc doesn't react with aluminum, but don't take my word for it. Anyways, trying it in these one inch aerial salute tubes that I've been using. These perform really well when you're looking to get loud noise. Uh, we got about a half inch clay plug on the bottom. I'll be capping the top off with a half inch hot glue plug. Here's the stars I'm going to be putting in. Now, these stars hold together nicely, but they're not particularly strong. My worry is that the flash powder in these thick tubes will build up so much pressure before it bursts that it'll just blow the stars into powder. If that's the case, then we're going to retry this in a, just a few days with some thinner paper shells, which shouldn't build up nearly as much pressure. It means we won't get as loud of a report, however, it should blow the stars out and ignite them. These tiger tail style stars that I use don't tend to need any kind of primer. They're actually really easy to light. So the zinc shouldn't have any problem lighting them. For these types of shells, I like to use paper cups for the end with the hot glue, and I face the cup in towards the powder. This allows the hot glue to grab onto as much of the shell as possible, giving a really strong pressure buildup. Now for redundancy, I add just a little piece of black match right next to the time fuse. The time fuse I'm using is 30 seconds a foot safety fuse from canonfuse.com and I cut it at a steep angle to expose as much of the black powder as possible. This helps the burst charge light the fuse obviously. I don't add redundancy fuses on all of my shells because this stuff tends to light pretty well coming out of these tubes but since I'm only making a couple of these zinc powder for test I really want to make sure they light. I don't want any duds. I didn't have a half inch dowel to use to plug the bottom of these tubes, so I improvised, and this actually worked out pretty well. Now the paper plug I added to the bottom of the launch tubes is simply there because uh, I like to reuse these tubes as many times as I can, and I seal the bottom with the paper and the hot glue to protect the clay from moisture in the ground. I'll be putting just about a one inch clay plug in the bottom of these tubes. These aerial shells weigh in just about 30 grams, so 10% of that for the lift charge is going to be 3 grams. Here I'm using between 2 and 3F black powder. At least that's what my eyeballs tell me it is. It's all just homemade granulated. These aerials don't fit snugly in the tube, so the way I deal with this is just by using masking tape. 
You could also use a bead of hot glue smeared around the edge and that'll give you a nice snug fit. But I found that if you want to reuse the tubes, the tape is better. It's just more, it's, it's gentler on the launch tube. I found that four wraps is just about the right amount to give you a nice snug fit that's just tight enough you can still push it down by hand but it doesn't fall in the tube under its own weight. I went ahead and brought four out with me to test out for you guys. The first two are going to be the zinc powder with stars, and the second two are going to be potassium perchlorate flash powder. Uh, number 11 from caninfuse.com. Well, unfortunately, that's about what I expected to happen. Let's try another one. Well, I had a strong lift and a nice report, but unfortunately what I think is happening is those tubes are so strong that the pressure is building up inside them and just blowing the stars apart. That perchlorate gives one hell of an echo. Alright guys, so we will try this again in a few days with some paper shells oh. for the zinc powder. <laughs> 110 decibels. Hope you guys can see that. Hope you guys enjoyed that little demo. Off to go make some more and test out new things.